Drew, a rainy forecast tomorrow. Yeah, a soggy one for us, but good news is Friday night football looks to be dry. We'll talk about that here in a second. Take a look at Pinpoint Doppler. We're scanning the skies out here. You'll notice that overall not much going on, just the ground clutter across Jackson. No precipitation there, but the closest shower is actually located in Virginia, just uh, to the areas near Kingsport, Norton, and even Lebanon. So we're going to continue to keep an eye. That's pushing out, but we are going to watch the chance for an isolated shower develop. Now, it's been an active afternoon. The cold front still off to our west. You'll see showers and storms racing through in the northeastward fashion. We'll continue to see that for tomorrow, a more widespread pattern. And take a look at the weather cam here in Jackson. Plenty of rain, patchy fog, and the fog developing after the precip. Temperatures at 71 degrees. We're now calm, and it feels like 71 out there. Temperatures really into the lower 70s. You look at 72 in Prestonsburg, 73 in Middlesbrough, and even into Wise. And temperatures not going to drop much more. We're looking at temperatures really into the upper 60s for lows tonight. And then once again, we will warm up tomorrow. Hometown spotlight for tonight, Red Ash, Kentucky. This located in Whitley County, 74 degrees. Southeast winds at 3 miles per hour. The humidity at 87%. It still feels like 74. Not much humidity or heat index going on tonight. And your 24 hours shows that we're going to be dry throughout the overnight hours. But those chances of rain return around 9 a.m. tomorrow and really increase into the afternoon. We're talking a 70% chance of rain for us here in eastern Kentucky heavy at times and could deal with some localized flooding and it's going to be a humid one too so for all the ladies a bad hair don't care kind of day for your Wednesday. The rain continues not only for Wednesday and Thursday, but really into the weekend. More rain chances and associated secondary cold front pushes through. That brings in temperatures to cool down for our region, and we'll start to see temperatures maybe into the upper 70s for highs. Let's break it down over future view. You'll notice rain showers start in the Cumberland Valley tomorrow. They become widespread, mainly to the north at first, but we should expect this to fill into the south. This continues with the northeast Eastern storm track. That cold front stalls out, doesn't really pass through. We still look at temperatures into the low to mid 80s, but then by the weekend, we are going to be looking at more rain chances. Now, as far as the cumulative precip goes, you'll notice that anywhere I think from half an inch to an inch for tomorrow was expected, maybe locally higher amounts in some of these uh, cells that do fire over the same area once again. But you'll notice this continues through your Thursday. We'll continue to watch that here across Eastern Kentucky, and the rain continues for us as well as we look at that scatter chance on Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures falling 81 degrees on Monday. 80 degrees for Tuesday. Some models hitting at the upper 70s. So as we start the first week of football, Tanner, we're starting to get more football weather here in Eastern Kentucky. We'll take that, Andrew. Thanks. Coming